Hey everyone, welcome to Echocalypse. So we have a new banner for Echocalypse. Good, evil, Nirvana. So we have here Shiyu and Nephitis. So both are SSR rarity, and both are um, they're they have a they have an affinity for burn or ignite or whatever you may call it. So let's take a look at um them and see if this banner is worth pulling okay let's uh, take a look at shio first so information artifice so these are the ones you could unlock then your link so for the link obviously all of her links are going to be more or less part of ssr so it's going to be challenging to get links for her and uh, let's go through her skills, guys. For her basic attack, so she orders flames to ignite on enemies, dealing 64% damage to the back row. So there are only few um, cases that can deal damage directly to the back row. And for her basic attack, this is actually good. So your more squishier, squishier uh, enemies are going to be in the back row. So she's she has a good um, basic attack for that one and the next one is her skill or this yes this is going to be her skill so shio vengeful fire engulfs the battlefield dealing 100 percent magic damage to all enemies so this is also good but there's a additional damage for a 40 percent chance to inflict burn on the targets for two rounds by the way the chance to inflict burn is increased up to a max of 70%. So if you're able to take her to, you know, to open up all of her stars, then she would be terrific at 70%. Okay. So last is her passive. <clears throat> she has a trick up her sleeve when retreating. She revives one random ally who is retreated and restores 30 of HP to them. Okay. One concern of mine with Nirvana Tactics is um, if you revive someone and if it's only 30% without any shield, they're easy to die. But this is actually definitely good, especially if you have a healer in place in your team. This could be this could provide you an extra boost eventually if you need someone to fill up your dead cases. So for this one. Uh, this is good to have, but not really a strong skill that she has, um, because of the. Th it's only going to be thirty percent of HP, so that's that's roughly that that uh, case that you just resurrected is still easy to kill, especially if they're of the squishy type and they're at the back, and um, if your enemy has AOE's all over the place, then definitely the thirty HP won't be enough. If this skill has a shield then definitely i would be good with this passive so overall for shiu um if you're planning to build a fire team or not she's still good but definitely most uh burn or fire teams would go together perfectly if you have all the pieces for the burn or fire team so um i'm not saying she's a must pull but she's definitely one of one of the the cases that could help you progress actually towards the middle game and towards the end game okay so moving on to nephitis so let's check her out so her link here she does have lower level links so she has two purple links here in one sorry, so two purple cases in one link then she has here more or less purple ones. So Nephitis actually, just to give you my thoughts, guys, I think is one of our best healers in the game. For me, she's 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 kind of tier A. Um, for the other one, she she could be tier B. Um, because of the value, her value is good, but not that good it's not really eye popping whatsoever so she will be at uh, she would be tier b nephitis definitely would be tier a could be tier s 
but I'll stick to tier A for now. So for her attack in favor of God that, that Nefetis can heal the ally with the lowest HP for 114 of attack. So this is actually good because most of the lower rarities do have this skill, but it's a lower percentage of attack. So for her, it increases up to 138. So very good even for her basic skill. So next is um, her, um, sorry, sorry, that is her basic attack. So for her skill, it's going to be God's gift. Uh, God likes to see our enemies in pain. So it heals all enemies for 100% of attack, which is which, which is which is good for each enemy with burn increasing the health effect by eight percent. So she works well, or she works best with a burn team, but not necessarily with a burn team because she herself can afflict burn to your enemies, as in her passive. So divine retribution, so burn and suffer. The uh, Nephitis inflicts burn effects of 80% attack on four random enemies at the start of the battle. So uh, th this is automatic. This is going to be applied to them. So four random enemies apply. The effect is 80%. So no percentage of giving burn. It's just random. So whoever uh, you have there, four of them would automatically have burn at the start of the battle which is cool because this one supports her um her skill this one god's gift so she is going to be one of your better you know better healers probably top two or top three healer so definitely if you value this banner definitely go for nephitis although you can't choose whether you're gonna get she or nephitis but Definitely, Nephitis is prized is um, is going to be prized more than Shio at this point. So, but both of them are good in this banner. I won't hesitate to recommend this banner at uh, this time. So, go for this, guys. Um, if you have the extra currency for this pulls, these are great SSRs to get, especially for Nephitis. So that is it, guys. So hopefully, you could. Be able to get either of the two, especially Nephitis, in your pulls. I am still looking for ways to pull for them at this point. This banner is actually going to last for six days, probably a week already. It's going to be a week. So hopefully you could get either of the two and especially Nephitis. So thank you guys for staying this far. So take care, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.